So what you really want to do in a smart integration is to really get the graphics onto the CPU, but not just connect, continue to connect to the memory controller to the memory, but really use the huge cache that exists on the CPU. This one gives about 4 to 5x faster throughput, which when the data is in the cache, which is a huge reason why our performance is getting better. On top of that, we of course significantly improved and re-overhauled the architecture of both the graphics, the media, and the CPU. But when you put the things together, you could make things really smart. And one of the smart things you could make when you integrate things together is power management. At the end of the day, it's all about power, it's all about battery life. Last year, we just brought you with the core technology uh, the innovation method called Turbo. And the Turbo is an extremely good method because what it uses, it gets the CPU use the thermal headroom that exists and just boost the performance when you need it because it's all about the response time. But Centibridge brings Turbo to the next level. And what you see in the white color is basically the extra benefit you get from the Turbo of Centibridge because it uses more capabilities and goes even beyond the TDP limit. But the really beauty of this second generation of Turbo is when you get two more cores. Because the one of the limitations that existed on the first generation of core was that the more core you added to the game, the less benefits you get from the uh, turbo because you already exhausted the thermal limits. Well, it's exactly the opposite with Celebridge because of the architecture and circuit design techniques as well as the ability to go beyond the TDP limit. As you can see, other than adding one bin of frequency, we get many more bins of frequency, which is exactly what you need <coughs> to get to fast response. Now, if you put the graphics on this uh, memory, this CPU, you want to get the same phenomena done on the graphics as well. So the graphics will be able to use the headroom of the terminals of the system and boost its frequency, what we call the dynamic frequency feature. And it all plays together. Because in many <coughs> cases, when you run the graphics at full steam, the CPU is not that active and vice versa. So you could really use and get the best performance and the best capabilities by the time you need it. This is what we call designing for fast responsiveness. So this is something we are extremely proud of and we believe it's going to bring new capabilities to the market and make sure that we do a great job. And this is going to be the logo and this is why we believe that Sandy Bridge really deserves the visibly, visibly smart computing solution.